Hey, gang. <laughs> I guess I do the thing now. All right. We're live on Twitch. Or if you're catching this on the replay on YouTube, like, subscribe, do all the things. Or follow if you're on the Twitch. Or come to the Twitch and follow. Ah. We're checking out Sailing Era, which was posed by Billy Billy. Developed by GY Games. Courtesy of them, they gave it to us to play, review, do all the things. It's a very akin to Uncharted Waters, if you remember Koei's franchise of sailing shenanigans. Let's get right into it. Down and dirty. We voted in the Discord, and they wanted me to play as Andrew. So that's the character, the story we're going to start. I'm going in cold. I haven't played this yet, other than to look at the characters. So, yeah. Andrew of Portugal. An upbeat and cheerful Portuguese sailor who graduated from the Maritime Academy of Lisbon. His love for adventure made him unsatisfied with his work in the mer major merchant fleets. He aspires to have his own fleet, go on adventures around the world, and become the greatest navigator in Portugal. Character traits, adventurous spirit, increase the XP gained from sailing. Innate leader, reduces the amount of XP required for upgrading characters that are below Andrew's level. And rope pathfinder. Discovering new ports grants local contribution. The story of an, an explorer who went on a sea voyage to establish maritime routes, trades, and fight enemies along the way. Let's go. Uh, the normal mode, suitable captains help pop up windows disabled by default. Uh, let's go in dirty. Try to figure it out. I'll probably put on the pop-ups anyway, just so I know what the hell is happening. In many parts of Europe, the word world originally meant the stage of life. People lived on land with limited boundaries to their lives. For a long period of time, people have been sailing to explore the larger world. Venetians, Greeks, Romans, Vikings. It was not until the Portuguese on the western frontiers of Europe set sail that the spark of ocean exploration finally coalesced into the seafaring boom which swept Europe. And thus began the age of exploration. During this era, ocean conquering became a symbol of courage, glory, and wealth. Every Portuguese dreamed of owning a ship and setting sail to make a way in the, wor in the world. And our hero, too, is such a dreamer. That's so dramatic. Song of, Cape, of the Cape, Part 1, Setting Sail. Lisbon, the capital of Portugal. One of the busiest ports in Europe. There are many sailors here looking for a job at sea. Oh, hi, Fireball. Seems we're Andrew. Yep, that's what... Also was Andrew. Nice. That's what got voted for in the Discord, so that's where I am. In their spare time between jobs, they drink in the taverns and bo boast about their own skills. <laughs> I swear that was the most violent storm I've ever seen. Our ship was being completely destroyed by it. Yet we could not do nothing. Yet we could do nothing but lie down on the deck and pray. <laughs> Andrew seemed like a very uncharted waters choice. Yeah, it absolutely. It, it seems like a, a combination of the uh, uh, the the Dutch guy whose name escapes me, and then Joa which was the Portuguese kid. So, I agree. I'm really looking forward, though, to the shipbuilder at some point. The others held their breaths in anticipation and waited for the sailor to tell them the next part of the story. Meanwhile, at a corner of the tavern, a young man was silently enjoying his wine, seemingly unaffected by the story. Julianne. Ooh, she's cute. Andrew, what are you doing here all alone again? Aren't you going to head over and listen to their stories? Oh, there we go. Oh, that was too fast. Oops. Yeah, they may be around the same every single time. I still can't avoid getting drawn into them. Stories alone can't satisfy me. A true man seeks to experience all of that for himself. I'm... I'm going to be a great navigator. I've heard that so many times. Dot, dot. Found any suitable jobs lately? They're all for short distance trade with short routes and low pay is pointless. A young lady from the 
from Netherlands, from Netherlands, from the Netherlands, sorry, arrived today, and she's looking to recruit a captain, but for some reason, no one wants to take her up on that offer. She's right over there. Are you gonna talk to her? That's convenient. Thank you, plot device. A young woman dressed as a scholar is seated at the table, and she's looking closely at the, the pamphlet spread out on the table. You can tell this was translated. The, the localization isn't bad, but there's gonna be some grammar hiccups. This is exactly what a scholar dresses like. Absolutely. I mean, I, I'll study with her any day. Hey, what are you looking at? The ancient Greeks believed that the sun, moon, and stars revolved around our world. But someone has recently raised an objection to that and is of the opinion that we revolve around the sun. Joyce de Fritz. There, there's a name. So, who do you think is correct? Uh, actually, I often observe the Polaris when I'm out at sea, and it looks to me that many stars revolve around it. So I think not all stars revolve around the same thing. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. You may not have given me an answer, but being able to cast doubt on the statement with an actual fact with actual facts is very scientific of you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. yeah, we're not playing France. We can go. Ho, ho, ho. Sorry. <laughs> well, we see is actually just a small part of the real world, which is why one-sided opinions are so common. Nothing has changed. Nothing. As for this book, it's a record of a, of the conversation between a traditionalist and a skeptic. Oh, I see. But I don't think you're here for this book, right? Ha <laughs> ha! I heard you're recruiting sailors. Although there's certainly issues, but it's mostly passable. That's kind of what I, I expected, which, which isn't uncommon when making the transition from Chinese games over to English. So there's always going to be grammar hiccups. Yes, I do have a ship. It just weathered a storm and is being repaired at the shipyard. Due to certain reasons, the captain is unable to go out to sea for now. So I need a new captain. So are you looking for a... So you are looking for a captain. What's the goal of your voyage? Geographical research. I aim to draw an accurate map of the world. A couple of dialogue boxes seem untranslated and I'm pretty sure that some of the menu translations are wrong. That's... I was kind of expecting that, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Although I think it patched yesterday. Hopefully they're working on continuing localization patches, which is fine. I plan to start with the Mediterranean Sea. If conditions permit, we continue through Africa and then through many other places that people rarely venture. Oh, that they have to be. Especially if they want broad market appeal. They'll need to, to fix the hiccups. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I have a ship, a crew, and fair pay. But if you plan... If you plan to make a killing from a merchant fleet, just forget I said anything. I'll do it. Ooh. The pot. I knew all of you are the... Huh? Hey, wait. I haven't even told you the, the detailed route. I may not understand academic research, and I may not know the route for now. But I do know that you seek to do what ordinary people cannot accomplish. And that's something I refuse to miss. Lucky for you and I, we just assume everything works like New Horizons and be not far off, even if it's mistranslated. That's kind of what I was expecting. You know, it's if it, if it is gibbled, I'll probably figure it out. Or between the two of us, where you've already, you're already, what, 30 hours ahead of me? You, you can nudge me if I need it. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Andrew, and I dream of becoming a great navigator. Joyce closes the book gently and stared intently at the cover. Dialogue on two world systems. A short while passes before she makes herself makes her decision. Bloop bloop. I'm only 14 hours ahead. Okay. Well, I, I, it's. Did you leave it on pause and just listen to the music, or were you just goofing off sailing around? Fortuna Shipteed. Of course it's named the Fortuna. 
A proof that is used to in, to exchange for Fortuna. Really? A proof? Join Stukrit! Join team! Nature careful. A mapping expert from Netherlands. She is the youngest geographer at the University of Grogan Groningen. Groningen. She can make better use of her expertise and help boost the, the speed of, of the fleet as a surveyor. No matter the character on Uncharted Waters, I build a massive trade empire. Pretty much how I play the game. Yeah, I usually do the same too. Like, I'll... Even with Catalina, I would, you know, get through the beginning and then I would just focus on trade and exploration and build up a giant pot of money and then I would build the battle fleet and go ham all over the sea. Then I should call you Captain now. Awesome! Uh, and you are... Joyce to Fritz. Just call me Joyce. Alright, Joyce. I'm going to the shipyard to take a look at the ship. Ship's condition. And we can set sail if things look good. Yay! We found Lisbon! Lisbon? Let's see. New entry. Ooh. Book for us, I don't think you have a choice, assuming you don't just look up a list of discoveries and you're not doing that in this game. Yeah. Let's see. Favorites, compass and, compass and wine. Okay. Doctor's map. Fair enough. Alright, so. Oh, game flagging. Okay. Like, why is it not, why is the screen not changing? So in progress, set sail, right? Oh, clues. Interesting. So you have clues on which you need to use to discover a thing? I see. He has no equipment? I am but, uh, Prime, and I send thanks this for the follow. I lost colors. Welcome in. Autobots taking refuge among me. the stars. Getting startled by my own we are here. things. Let's see. Leadership, steering, we mapping, firearm, already. repair. Calculating, culinary, music, geography, biology, negotiation, sail control, observation, brawling, shipbuilding, selection, selection, medicine, organization, humanities, treasure. Okay. And then activate 10 routes in total, 20 routes. Okay. I like the art. I like the pixels. Gonna be honest, I don't actually know what selection does. I'm, I'm wondering. Yeah, skill info. Each level adds three percent daily chance to upgrade goods of eighty percent quality or above to premium goods. Oh, it's a trade skill. It's let you select things. Hey, Danny. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It lets you select things. It upgrades trade goods. So if you're a trader, trade er, not traitor. I always feel like I have to specify. I think it requires a room in your ship. Probably, it's it's probably part of cargo management or something. What have I got in my bag? The ship deed. Yay! That's it. Oh wait, knowledge. And your captain can't leave the captain's qu quarters. So not a skill you'll want on him for sure. <laughs> that, I, I'd say I was surprised, but I'm really not. Okay, so this is there. This is scroll, but there's nothing to scroll. Okay. Tavern Shipyard. It's a Fortuna's deed. Andrew, so you're the new captain? Hehe, <laughs> you fixed it up! It was really damaged when it got in, and it took a great deal of effort on our part to get her fixed. Pay attention to the ship's condition when you sail from now on, and keep her well ma maintained at all times. Yay! We've got the Fortuna, a ship sponsored by Joyce. 5,000 gold? Capitão, você está no lugar certo. Nani? Now he just defined many things I didn't do. 
right. I, I'm curious. Oh, so it's only you can only buy a sloop for 10k. That tell so that's that's the small baby ship for 10,000. That gives me an idea of how much things cost. Didn't pay attention to the ship's condition. Didn't keep it well maintained. You just kept going until it fell apart. Change badge. Oh, okay. That's basically different sales. Okay, okay. Interesting. Oh, we got our boat. It just kind of popped up. Hello? According to the plan, our next stop is Kuta. The ship's ready. We can set sail. No hurry. I need the help of a friend if we are going to survey the world. William Ansel. So the scar from the wild boar proved his identity indeed. Instead. Interesting. Is it Portuguese Sherlock Holmes? William, pack your things. We are going sailing. Andrew. How many times have you told me that since we graduated? But can you think of a single occasion when we did not return disappointed? Even those merchant ships. It's not a merchant ship. We are conducting geographical research. It's a maritime expedition. Allow me to introduce you. This is our ship's sponsor, Miss Joyce. Strictly speaking, the ship belongs to the whole crew, Andrew. Did you hear that, William? This ship belongs to all of us. Everyone knows you are well versed in the myths and legends from all over the world. And you stay buried under a pile of books every day. But I know how great your desire is to set sail out in the ocean. Oh boy, a, commu a commune at sea. The way we do it. Don't you want to personally verify the history and legends you've read up in all those books? Hmm. Oh yeah, it's definitely Danny. Indecisive and be like, I don't want to go nowhere and do nothing. Leave me alone. I just want to play League. What is there to hesitate about? As they say in the Academy, always respect the ocean. And always stay curious about the unknown. Huh? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Excuse me, good sir. I am not playing League right now. No, I saw you were playing Overwatch. Fine, Andrew, you win. I guess I'll have to put off reading these for now. All right. I don't know why it sounded so enthusiastic. All right. Let's go. But don't get ahead of yourself. Since you're the captain now, you must know how to use your crew well. To be honest, you probably... We probably can bring a couple of books to see. You'd think you can uh, stick a couple of them in your uh, in your hammock. Of course, I'm aware of that. Surveyors and lookouts are the most important during a, a geographical survey. Three hundred thousand more coins. Thanks, William. A translator from Oxford University who has mastered many languages and can help the fleet translate and interpret books in different languages. Andrew, assign our roles before we set sail. I can act as a temporary lookout. As for Miss Joyce, I'll be staying in the mapping room, of course. All right, then it's decided. Blah, blah, blah. So the, the pier, the port has a tavern in the shipyard. And then the pier. Andrew, you have an assigned roles to us. Go to the fleet interface in the logbook and assign... Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't do that at the... Oh. Oh, I see. Andrew is the least assertive captain. I mean, I'm not surprised. He's probably just happy to be out and about doing a thing. He, he's just happy to be, to be asked. All right, what are we doing? Access? Oh, I see. Okay. It's the mapping room. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> carrying her by her head. Wee! 
it's a two point campus all over again. All right, Mr. Man. Up in the crow's nest with you. That's it. That's it. All right. That sail. Oh, here we go. I'm sure she deserves it. Probably. Hey, Andrew, what are you so happy about? I've got a job out at sea, and I'm even the captain. Not bad, lucky guy. Are you ready to set sail? We're still preparing. Don't forget to prepare sufficient supplies. You're finished if you run out of supplies while still at sea. Don't jinx us! That's the basics. I'm surely aware of that. While the sailor large while the sailors large in number are very helpful in emergencies, it can mean more consumption of supplies. Piece of efficiency advice? I didn't learn until like 13 hours in. Absolutely, give me all your advice. Including the sailor's wages and cost of supplies, it's quite an expenditure. Pronto para ir voljar? What's... Okay, nothing. Sail preparation. Oh, there we go. So that was easy. Sit. I don't have any goods. Oh, I take the goods and put it in the warehouse, or if I pick up goods for, like, a quest, I pick them out of the pure warehouse and put them on the ship. That makes sense. Go, ho, ho! Let's go, go, go! Oh, this is pretty. I'm going to crash the game. <laughs> well, two things. One is you should check the one mark to auto cargo, but at some point very soon, but apparently now. In the sale prep menu, you can change your cargo goods space. You can change the space? Interesting. It's time to give the order to heave up the anchor. Relocate it. Okay. Huh? Where's Andrew? They'll carry less goods and more cargo. That makes sense. I'm not super worried about it right now because I'm just going to be in, you know, territorial waters, but the weather's perfect to embark on a voyage. That's good for a thingy. Listen up. Yeah, it, it, and you have no goods. Um, uh, that's, well, that's because I've got no goods. It wouldn't let me grab anything. Our destination is Cuta. I always pronounce that wrong, probably. But once we're done there, we'll be sailing to Venice. Istanbul, Cape of Good Hope, India, the New World, and perhaps every other corner of this world. As captain of this ship, I, Andrew, promise you that the voyage to be to fame starts here. He has no last name. Ah! So get ready, raise the sails. <laughs> An inspiring speech. Hee <laughs> hee. I have dreamed of this day. Now, as captain, you must direct the ship's course and lower or raise the sails at the right time to control the ship's speed. The crew can take care of controlling the sails according to the wind direction. Something worth noting is that the ship's steering angle is limited, and it'll slow down to a crawl when the sails sailing against the wind. Every day on the every day on the sea is another day of risk. To choose your route at the up of, is the, of the utmost importance. Indeed. Thus, the selection of a suitable route is where a surveyor's worth lies. Come have a look at this. It is near the Strait of Gibraltar, which lies to the southeast of Lisbon. Now that the wind is blowing from the northwest, so if we sail along the southeast coast, it'll take us just a few days to get there. Once we get to the Strait, it should be easy for us to spot Cuta. That's good. 
I'll mark it on the map once we get there. The more ports we pass through, the more details the nautical chart will be, and the easier it'll be for us to plan our future courses. If we really travel the entire world, one day, this nautical chart will certainly be the most precious treasure in existence. Lofty goals. Trust me, that day will come. Mm. Yes. Sketch nautical chart. All right. Let's go back to port for a second. To the pier. So, where is this menu to change things? Automatically cancel when money is insufficient. Okay. Oh, okay. It has no. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Probably why you missed it. Yeah, most likely. All right, let's go to the north of Africa. There, that's the perfect one. I think I'll save that for the, for the thumbnail. Making the checkbox at the right. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Gonna th no way, I like that animation. <laughs> I like that. Do 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 do. All right, so. Ah, uh, there we go. We no. Oh, I see. Max sales. Is the the map? Wait a minute. Do I have to get that close? Could I literally just sail past the bill <laughs> without spotting it? Hmm. I still need more time to finish with the, the nautical chart. You do have to get pretty close. Okay. Andrew and I will talk. We'll be taking this opportunity to go around Cuta and familiarize ourselves with the place. Maybe it rated a, on, it's rated on lookout skill level though. That's entirely possible. I never got a better lookout, so I don't know. Okay. Well, we'll have to discover. We're going to the library again? Not every town owns a library. We're going to the tavern. There, we may hear as many stories as we could read in the library. I mean, that makes sense. Sailors do like talking. This is, that's the menu. I want to. You're probably right. I'm gonna put the guidance on for now, just in case I miss a thing. Otherwise, I think that's good. And then this is all the, the logs. So, empty quest, side quest, trade quest, okay. We still have no equipment. And his lookout level is what? I put it on normal difficulty. Because I'm crazy like that. To the tavern! You've never heard of Enrique? Iglesias? If we're talking about someone worthy of the title navigator, then it has to be him. Here he led the charge against the enemies of Kuda. Of course, in addition to his sailing exploits, he's proficient in astronomy, geology, theology. There's practically nothing he isn't capable of. They didn't claim any differences, so I just chose the one with the, I assume only new players advice change. I probably, and it, it like turned off new player things. So there's probably isn't a difference, but you know, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. Prince Enrique has achieved far more than that. He promoted the development of navigation techniques and established a maritime academy. My kid's yelling about. I'm 
Oh, okay. As far as I'm concerned, even making a statue of him on the pillars of Hercules isn't too much. Wow. Hmm? Huh? Not like I'm going to play this game with most of the character chairs anyway. I probably will, but I'm probably not going to do them all on stream. I might do it like some let's play shenanigans on on the YouTube. Maybe some maybe I'll do some of that non-commentary crap. I don't know. Legend has it that the God of Strength split Atlas Mountains, and that's how the Strait of Gibraltar was formed. The pr promontories on both sides are then called the Pillars of Hercules. Let's ask the old man for more information. You can treat sailors to refreshments and taverns to restore their HP and fleet morale. I still need to finish, I think, two chars on New Horizons. Uh... I think there's only one I didn't finish, and that's because the game just wouldn't let me. I can't remember which one that was. The Italian guy, the explorer. Useful information can be acquired by interacting with the NPCs of a tavern. At large taverns, exclusive servers are usually presented present where having a drink with them or sending them a gift will increase your favorability, which in turn may provide you with special clues that are unobtainable otherwise. Yeah, it was right at the end. It just wouldn't let me finish. Oh, I see. Get soft locked by passing the point of no return, but not having enough strength to win the battle. Yeah. Well, no, the battle wouldn't proc. Like the the last the last thing just wouldn't it, it wouldn't do anything. Let's see. Recruit sailors can be used to recruit sailors that are ready and willing to work on board. Prosper ports have more recruitable sailors. The elderly man. You want to see the pillars of Hercules? Oh ho ho! You'll see a promontory if you travel to the the coordinates west six, north thirty six. That's the famous pillar of Hercules. Yay! A discovery. Those coordinates? Isn't that just west of Tudor Dock? That's really close by. That's how the world is. If you don't po possess the required knowledge. You wouldn't recognize a treasure even if it's right in front of you. I mean, that's true. There's a lot of things. Pillars of Hercules clue. Yay. Discovery clues will guide you to a location of a discovery. Locating a discovery will reward you with a significant amount of fleet XP as well as precious treasures at times. You can view the discovery clues when you are lo when you have locate you have located by going to knowledge discoveries. Oh. That makes a lot of sense. What does the valuable dealer have for me? I've not beat auto yet. I beat auto. Actually, I think I've only not beat auto yet. Okay. I, that's, he's the, the first one I did beat. Hold on, gang. I gotta take the puppy out. Let's pause this. There we go. Yeah, uh, I beat Otto, and then Ali, and then Joa, and then Catalina, I think. What is it? Oh, this is... Oh, okay, this is the market information. Price up, price down. Future trend and price index only show unlocked goods and knowledge. Okay. Interesting. The cotton is trending down, fish meat is trending up. All right, I'm not really going to worry about that until I'm actually doing a thing. Would anyone like to join my fleet? Waiting to be recruited. No, I don't need that many people. Oh wait, we should have a we should have a drink before we before we just sally forth into the world. Hundred gold, really? Have the danger paid for the expenses of all those present. Every single sail held their hearts out <laughs> in the name of the good captain. All right then. So we gotta go use the lookout and do the sailing. And you said hit the... 
Wait. How do I hit that checkbox, though? Press and hold it. Ah, hold. There we go. Yeah. It said press and hold. I, 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 I see what's happening. I see. All right. I could use my mouse, but I'm using controller. Providing I don't un unlock it. Uh, all right. Hold, press right trigger to view fleet. View fleet. Interact with other fleets. Blah, 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 blah. Exchange items. Blah, 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 blah. Actively declare war on a fleet and start a battle. Well, they don't plan on doing that anytime soon. Yeah, so I started using my mouse in a couple cases now. Mostly my cargo hold, so it's now so large it's... An that makes sense. All right, open and close lookout feature. Oh, okay. There. If we're in lookout mode. There's... okay. Well, I... Hmm. There we go. I'd rather... I'd much rather trade 30% of my units and not go slow as shit, right? I see there are certain objects that can be interacted with, such as shipwrecks, floating objects, discoveries, blah, 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 blah. Hold X to interact with them. Pillars of, the, uh, of Hercules discovered. Huzzah! Legend has it that the Atlas Mountains blocked Hero Hercules' path to the Golden Apple. So he used his divine powers to split the mountains in two and carved out what is now the Straits of Gibraltar. And the High Highlands on either side are known as the Pillars of Hercules. Because in... I never took people off lookout, right? 5,000 XP? Hmm? This is the Pillars of Hercules? Legend has it that Hercules... Sp I'm just gonna repeat himself. Or repeat the information. Is this huge rock the mountain that Hercules split? Supposedly? As for whether the legend spread around before the landscape was discovered or the landscape was the inspiration for the legend itself? The answer, that, bleh, the answer has been lost to time. Yeah, I always had people on lookout. Unless I was going right into battle. And then I would quick allocate everybody to 100% battle. According to Diodorus' records, Hercules pulled them together to narrow the channel and keep sea monsters out. It wasn't as straight before that. But how can we be sure that the ancient records are correct without seeing it for ourselves? true. Yes, only by actually exploring the world can you learn what it really looks like. Hmm? Oh, William, are you drawing the Pillars of Hercules? I plan to record everything I see in here with my pencil. Unlike written records, this here can transcend the barriers between languages. It's true. Even someone who cannot sail can appreciate the straits beauty. But even without the drawing part, the new dis newly discovered geography and ruins here must be recorded. It can be submitted to the governors of various regions to improve the fleet's reputation and use as a topic for conversation. Ooh. Alright. Well. Return. Re oh, we gotta return to port. Which we don't need to go very far to do. The nautical chart is complete! I did not expect it to be be so difficult just to record the course between two ports. Not if the chart isn't as simple as drawing a line between two points. The bays, islands, shoals, everything has to be included. When it comes to the dangerous areas, trenches, whirlpools, and hidden icebergs must be marked and labeled too. Hey Mel! Our next destination is the volcanic archipelago to the southwest. It's a long and tough distance to cover. Hmm? The southwest. Are you talking about Madeira? If we're sailing over a long distance, then we must prepare more water and rations in case we run out of provisions. Yay! 
Cargo feature now available during sale preparation. Oh, there we go. They give it to you pretty much right away. Alright, edit cargo. Let's see, LB, RB, to switch between cargo spaces, press A to deposit or withdraw supplies and cargoes. Blah. You can edit the ratio of your cargo space allocation through allocate cargo space. I probably did, just didn't read this. Yeah, most likely. Cargo space is divided into supply cargo hold and goods cargo hold. They're not interchangeable. All right. Fill supplies, we'll do the thing. Yep. All right, so. Less goods, more cargo. For now. I'd level Andrew to 30 literally as fast as possible. Okay. Oh. Uh, until we need cargo, we'll just keep it at that. That makes sense. Well, what's the, what's the fastest way to level them? Just sail the ports? And hope we have money? Boom, boom. You level up via uh, the inn? Eh? What, by using the XP accumulated? I don't have the inn yet. Okay. That makes sense. Maybe the logbook. Oh, tavern. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. It's still locked, so I can't do it yet. Alright, got it. I got you. Let's sail away! We're gonna stop at Seville just to get it mapped. Do, 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 do. New port found, Seville, capital of Spain. What's bumping? Ooh. Monica? Hello, nurse. It'll be a little bit worth. Yeah. Have a drink? It's a relief to see that you drank them all. I truly look forward to speaking to you. Interesting. I heard that in a country where life is simple and honest, they worship the cow as a god. Just one of those skills is worth. Pri just one of those skills is worth. Prioritizing it. Fair. Pillars of Hercules. Perhaps I lack the knowledge to understand the hidden meaning within. I truly look forward to speaking with you. Okay. Come back next time. And I was thinking we'd be stuck with a batch of pottery. I didn't expect it to be gone the moment we docked. Three travelers found rare ore the other day. Unfortunately, they didn't have a pickaxe with them and were forced to go home empty-handed. Is that a hint that I need equipment? Uh, I want to check it, the shipyard. See what our options are. Caravel, caravel, yeah, so caravels. 30,000 gold! Holy balls! All right. Well, we gotta go to Madeira, which which I should remember how to get there. Alright. This should be the way. What's that? Oh, 
Aw. I don't have room for it. Alright, chip controls are pretty straightforward. RT to fire, Y to switch guns. Alright. Oops. Captain, there's a fleet approaching. We're in trouble. Andrew, why the frown? It's pirates. They're firing! I wish ships moved in relation to themselves instead of the relation to directions, but whatever. Yeah. They missed. We're far enough from them. They're firing to measure the distance between us. Andrew, they're catching up. The ship can sail faster than ours, but it's been patched up so much that hull integrity has been compromised. Our ship is way better. We can't let this go. Prepare yourselves. We're going to battle. I can understand why a lot of people found this to be intuitive. I just use this. To, yeah, that's basically what it is. I just have to. There we go. I gotta work on my aim, my directionality. Oh. Can you tell I'm out of practice? better. Uh, the battles were turn-based. That was terrifying. Treat the wounded. I'll go inspect the hull. Luckily, well, we can make it to Madeira in, our, Madeira in our current state. Whoa, go back. Go back. Bring our fat ass around. Aw. I don't have any cargo space. Sad. Isn't there a port around here somewhere? Nope. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Alright. That's what we get for editing our cargo, I guess. Where is this stupid island? I have to remember where the where it is. There it is. Yeah, a powerful fleet appears. Will show up in dangerous waters as long as you remain, blah blah blah. Yeah, I see. Oh, lost Pomus. Oops. Not where I plan to go, but it's fine. Good kid, isn't it? Literally been attacked by random pirates zero times in 13 hours. Everybody's happy. Alright. We didn't use that much food, so I don't need that much space. Not that they're happy if they attack me now, which, right? Alright. I think I went too far. Yeah, I went too far uh, south. Deer should be further north of here. I believe I had the biggest ship in the game, though I can look at no ship list to confirm, right? Hmm. 
trying to remember where this island is. Went southwest, or is it further? I can. It's got to be further past. It's been so long since I've sailed these waters. I have to remember where I'm going. Wait, my, it's still there. Nice. Go to your cabin. You can blah 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 blah. Yep. Okay. There we go. This battle is mandatory. Really? It's strange. They clearly matched us, yet they were clearly a match by us, yet they still attacked. Hmm. If they weren't trying to plunder us, then it was a trap. Some pirates test the combat abilities of merchant ships before attacking. Don't let your guards down. Their main force is coming. Captain, two, sh two ships have approached. Calm down, they'll need a flagship to give commands when attacking with more than a single ship. Prepare to advance, to advance at full speed. Prepare to board their flagship. Oh, well, that was quick. Combat will begin after a period passes a deck battle will be triggered. Here we go. Hand to hand combat. What? When entering hand in combat, sailors of both parties will break into groups and fight. The sailors who come out on top will obtain but morale, effects of damage done in hand in combat, blah blah blah. After a battle ends, there's a chance to trigger a duel. The size of a ship's deck determines how many combat sailors it can hold. Sailors have been pointed at position, blah blah blah. If the limits of combat is not reached, then idle sailors of higher levels will be selected into battle. Okay. Initiate duel? Yes. Accept my challenge. You think I'm afraid of you? Duel say on the falling priority. Body, perception, technique, body. After attacking or getting attacked twice in a row, the knife fight options will be triggered. In a knife fight, you can choose to clash with either body, perception, or technique. When the attributes are the same, the success, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Values are the same. Results are the same. Interesting. Let's go. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory! That was ridiculously easy. The pirates have their own flag? The flag represents the pirate's identity, and some are even able to get merchant ships to surrender just on sight. Hey, Angel! I guess these pirates won't get a chance to do that. A flag obtained from a pirate ship. Painted on it is a pattern of a strange skull. We need to go back and that ship and slow down. Because holy crap, I'm going too fast. Scavenge! Money. Get material. Wine. Nice. When sailing into waters with strong waves, a portion of your goods, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay. There's the port. We made it. Hooray! Pretty straightforward. It's going to take a little getting used to the controls, but not too bad. This area is far from the continent, so all the islands along the way must be drawn out and labeled for reference. It's going to take a little more time. The crew can take this opportunity to rest for a while. Andrew and I are heading to the trade center to purchase the local specialties. We're going out to trade? Oh, hi, Haley. Welcome in. How is you? Our voyage isn't supported by a merchant guild, so an appropriate amount of trade is required to replenish our funds. 
since the introduction of sugarcane has become the staple of Madeira, but that sugar is really cheap here. Sadly, I never know how accessible this game is because I've played the game it's based on, right? Fueled by chaos? That sounds pretty accurate, Haley. New Horizons? Well, it wasn't, it wasn't. It had a it had a learning curve, but you know, if you played most RPGs, it wasn't that hard to figure out. At least I didn't find it so. Then again, I was also older than a lot of folks when it was out, so. The first one was rough. The second one was better. We should make quite a bit if we transport it all the way to Lisbon. Okay. Uh, first order of business. Let's sell our wine. And we need to fix our preparations, edit our cargo. Let's see, we've got four out of ten. So, four cargo slots should do us. Dealing with the stuff like the instant death storm certainly wasn't very telegraphed. That's true. All right. This is the tavern. Welcome. Would you like something to drink? Let's treat our soldiers. Soldiers. Sailors. All right. Wealthy businessman, European sailor. Talk to him first. We ran into pilots on our last voyage. Luckily, we got some weapons at the equipment store in Hamburg, where we may have been consigned to Davy Jones' locker. I thought the other ship surrendering would allow you to capture that vessel. Uh, I don't know if it does in this or not. Also, welcome in. It, it did in um, Uncharted Waters. You had that option. I don't know about this one yet. But this was just a tutorial battle, so maybe later. I just learned something interesting from with Twitch that may be common knowledge. I don't know. Okay, what's that, Haley? One of the starting chars has that as a skill. Ah, okay. I just started up a few other streams at once to lurk and they played the exact same ad. That doesn't surprise me. Twitch only, I always thought it was random. It is, but at the same time with, with Twitch ads, they only have so much stock of ads and it depends on who buys them and that loads into how many because uh Zach Bussy did a whole thing on ads where he ran x amount of ads x amount of times over several days and there were a lot of repeat ads and there were a lot of times when ads just didn't get filled even though they were supposed to run because there's only so many advertisers advertising on Twitch that either it won't fill those rates or it's only got those ads to show well, exactly, Haley, and it's one of those things. There's not that many people yet buying ads on Twitch. Not compared to, like, YouTube and everywhere else. Twitch is still an oddity to the marketing world. White sugar is a unique product of this port. Unfortunately, it's difficult to transport to Nates. We'll have to look for a sailor who can capture a ship, because more ships would be good. Um... Oh, oh, okay. Um, oh, the trade center is derp. Oh, he's a fancy boy. Why does it sound like he's being speaking Russian at me? Let's see. Damage. How does wine get damaged? It's fine. It's free money. Hopefully we can start using our XP, too. Market survey. Trade centers are different region of different regions. All have different prices for goods, as well as extra ups and downs due to price fluctuations. Though using the market survey feature and blah, 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 blah. Percentages are oh, lovely. So we're going to be following market values. Interesting. All right. So, Origins first. White sugar is trending upwards, but it's down 84%, so that's worth buying. Uh, yeah. So that's good. Price high, price low, blah, blah, blah. We're just, buy we're just here to buy sugar.
more sugar. Oof. It's a good thing we had that wine. Here we go. More random, less constantly abusable than your rice chicken. Right? I didn't abuse it. We just sailed all the way to Japan and back. Rinse, repeat. Nothing random about it. Andrew, look! The nautical chart between the three ports is done. As long as they follow the route on the nautical chart, we can rest at ease even if we let another member of the crew take the wheel. Helm. I don't have to take the helm anymore? Why does he look so happy? He's the captain, but he doesn't have to drive. Lazy bastard. View the routes and select an available port before setting sail. Then you can leave the rest to us. Give it a try on our return journey to Lisbon. Yay! We have auto sail. Let's see. You can view and use nautical charts in your bag tabs. You can check the routes. In all my first alley game, Istanbul, I think, had more Athenian art than Athens did by the end of it. Right? That was always bonkers. I'm gonna need. I need to play New Horizons again. I might do that on the retro channel. All right. So we gotta go to our bag. What's in my bag? It always sounds weird. I wonder what I can do with that. Probably nothing. General Penal. A plank removed from an abandoned battleship which can protect the hull from ram and artillery damage. Use it. Oh, it's ship parts. Okay, cool. We want to go. Please check it in sail preparation. Okay. To the pier! Apparently. So view route is enabled, blah, 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 blah. You can click on the port icon in the map, view the information on the port, select route, blah, blah, blah. The sailor must be appointed as surveyor in the mapping room first before you can use auto sail. The greater the surveyors, blah, 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 the more distance, blah, blah, blah. View routes. So I've been there, but I can't, I can't, I don't have it listed yet. Auto sail in this game is absolutely amazing. Really? Well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to sail automatically. Tally ho. So it doesn't sail like, like you're drunk. It actually just sails. Sail away, sail away, sail away. That's a good song. I almost never used it in New Horizons. I only used it when I was going like to the bathroom or to get a snack. It's a bit drunk, but it also speeds you up in the game. Hotel Transylvania 3. That just makes me feel old, Haley. Why you gotta attack me like that? I remember when it aired on the radio when it was released. Crew decides to celebrate their first successful voyage at the tavern upon returning to Lisbon. Apparently, according to Rekt, you and I are both old as fuck. I mean, we are. It's true. Let's raise a glass to our nautical chart. All. Let's raise a glass to the discovery of the Pillars of Hercules. Let's raise a glass to defeating those pirates. Henry is a truly amazing navigator who didn't just dare to, to brave the unknown and explore new territories. He even established the first Maritime Academy. I remember the episode from South Park where Cartman had to sing the song anytime someone hummed a few bars. Lol. I vaguely remember that as well. This art style is cute. I'm actually really liking it. It's, it's kind of a, a mix between traditional kind of anime stuff, but with a bit more details, more Final Fantasy, especially like the, the, the early uh, concept art and manual stuff that we had. Andrew doesn't have eyes. Well, I mean, that's that's an anime trope going back forever. I like that everyone has eye blinks except Andrew. Yeah. Oof, I'm going to be drunk after raising all these glasses, right? Let's raise a glass to my cat. Meow. 
Although I'm just drinking coffee. I want to explore the world just like him. Julianne, she's cute. Just saying. Uh, then again, I find all the girls cute. It sounds like you, like a lot of you are planning a new adventure. Hmm. Of course. The next voyage is, uh, to the other side of the ocean. Yes, we plan to discover a new continent. Hmm, but before that, we need a bigger crew. There are many experienced captains and sailors around the Mediterranean Sea, so let's take a look over there. Over, over there? Andrew established his own fleet, and the best thing that happened was the appearance of partners who shared his dream. Along with the winds and the waves, the fleet is heading to further places in the exotic land. Huzzah! Setting sail, over. Chapter one complete. As the abilities of your sails continue to grow, they will eventually reach a point where they wish to fully master their skills during adventures. Complete chronicles to obtain generous rewards. Okay. What do we got? Ooh, all kinds of stuff now. Okay, okay. I see you. Holy crap, everybody's got question marks. Level up. Let's see, we want to level up Andrew first. How much XP do we have? Oh, God damn, we got a boatload of XP. Alright. Everybody up 10 levels. And we'll do more, eight more levels for him. Oh, what skill do we want to learn, though? Which skill was it you were recommending, Fireball? Leadership. Thank you. There we go. You can't leave the captain quarters, so yeah, that makes sense. Let's treat everybody to some stuff. Leadership and shipbuilding. As far as I know, all that's really useful. Maybe brawling too. So not the combat skills, or will we have a, a, a person for that? But most of the skills are totally useless. All right. Little girl. Don't you look down on me. I'll grow taller than you one day, and you'll be the brainless brawn then. Oh, ho, ho, ho. this little sprout has quite the mouth on her. Where did you learn that from? I learned it from a book, of course. I'm Hermes. Even if I'm young, I'm still able to run circles around Apollo. Smart kid. Ah, oh, the messenger of the gods. This is a story you've read too, hmm? I heard the story from the curator. That book has a lot of words I don't know. What's the use of reading all those books? Just hang out in my tavern and you'll learn new things every... That is not a good thing. You don't tell a little girl to hang out in your tavern. The thing she's going to learn is not what she needs to know. Bad barkeep, bad! He's just asking for trouble. No. Good girl. Uncle says that every book is a treasure trove. I will study hard and solve the ri those riddles as soon as I can. That's true. Many books hold secrets that even the authors fail to uncover in the words they record. It was profound. Treasure in books? Let's go to the library and have a look now. Trust Andrew to take it literally. Oh, side quest. You heard? There are two pirate ships causing mayhem in the Madeira area. A Liz and Merchant ship's crew abandoned ship and fled as soon as they saw the pirate flag being raised. Four entire ships full of goods robbed of wares without a cannon fired. Sai, where's your flag from? Haha, <laughs> this was seized from the pirates. Madeira? That's right. You're lucky. The palace put a bounty on those pirates not long ago. The, resort, the reward is 5,000 gold. Cheng? All right. Hurry to the palace and collect your reward. All right, all right. I see how this is going. <laughs> glug, glug. Glug, glug, not glock, glock. Come on. 
I hear you laughing over there, Haley. Man drinks sullenly. Is something troubling you? Eh, it won't matter even if I tell you. I accepted an order from the trade guilds, and we negotiated the terms for the ship and crew, but the captain was poached by another guild just yesterday. It wasn't a loss for me, but all the route surveying, all the route surveying I did is going to waste. Do you need to conduct a, a route survey for a trade contract? Doesn't everyone just use fixed routes between ports? Of course not. There's a special contract that dictates that the requester has to provide the goods for bartering. Interesting. Bartering? <laughs> the requester can avoid paying taxes on large transactions and the fleet can also earn more profits based on their individual skills. Take this contract, for example. The requester gave me a shipment of blue flower porcelain shards, and I was supposed to, supposed to bring back port wine within the deadline. Now, in which places do blue flower porcelain shards sell for? More, and the port wine sell for less? You need a great deal of business sense for this. You also need to consider the distance between routes and have knowledge of the wind directions and weather. Convoluted. Well, I didn't think that a small contract would require so many complicated considerations. If you plan your route well, you can make ten times the profit. What is this guy, a Ferengi? Kid, it's been real nice chatting with you. How about I let you have this planned route and, con and the contract? No, no, I couldn't possibly accept. It's no problem. Just treat me to a drink when you're completed the contract, eh? All right, it's a deal. Just wait. I'll bring the port wine back. New portion porcelain tiles painted by Portuguese artisans following Chinese ceramic patterns, which can be put together to form large frescoes. I was AFK, but I heard my name. Never mind, Haley. Never mind. And we got a trade route. Not enough cargo hold. Excess goods will be stored in the pier. Once full, excess goods will be discarded. Alright, um... We're gonna go to... The, actually, we're gonna take care of that right now. Pronto para ir voltar? Probably a dirty joke, right? Yes, you are absolutely correct, Haley. It was a dirty joke, the dirtiest of jokes. Do the things first. No reason not to. Well, that's true because there, I had to. I had to look for myself to see how much storage was in the warehouse, just so I have the peace of mind before I go accepting things. Something about glug glug, glug, glug not gluck gluck. Thanks, Angel. Thanks. Way to call me out like that, bruh. Oh, what does Julianne want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gok Gok Five Fest? Yes. Did the voyage go well this time? Of course. You're one step closer to being a great captain. I always believed you could do it. No, you didn't. Every voyage supposedly has endless stories to tell. Do you mind telling me some of yours this trip, Sir Captain? Ahem. <laughs> Well, on this voyage, Andrew gives an embellished account of his new discoveries abroad and the pirate attack to Julianne. With effort from everyone and me, Captain Andrew's leadership, of course, we overcame perils and returned safely. Dot, dot, dot. What's wrong? Not interested enough? Interesting enough? Blech. It's too dangerous. But that's a part of sailing. It's okay as long as we prevail at the end. The great voyage of Captain Andrew is just starting. What a chad. A tool for sailors to identify their direction at sea. Yay! We have a compass. A friend gave me this, but I think you needed it more. You try to take care of yourself when you're adventurous. I'd like to hear more daring tales from you. I often hear many intriguing news. I often hear many intriguing news in the tavern too that I want to tell you. Does anyone prevail in the end? Hopefully. Or at least we survived at the end. Depends on what, what happens at the end. So you must come back safely for us to shoot the breeze over a round of booze. How family friendly. Well, let's have a drink with Julianne. Come on, cheers. Hey, you drink really well. I don't know if that's a compliment. Hehe. 
I don't know what she said, and I don't care. That was funny. Inquire info. If you're looking to increase your influence, then try accepting a few bounties. Eliminating the pirates in the vicinity works like a charm. Hey, the muffin! You need to take a drink before performing this. I gotta drink again? I'm raising a toast to you! Hey! Hey, oh! I'm gonna get hammered! She's getting kind of fuzzy. It re it'll really trouble me if you make trouble. Of course I know him. He's me. Exactly. I often hear drunk sailors talk about the New World, and it makes me wonder if they if they are just bragging or if they actually been there. Probably both. Pillars of Hercules. Oh, customers are calling from all over. I have to go now. Hehe. <laughs> it feels like you have something to say. No, I'm already trashed, bro. Oh, oh, shit. All right, next. Leaping guest? You. Slurring drunk with a glass in hand is shouting at a wall. Oh, look, we found Angel. Burp. They're all fools. None of them believe me. In the Battle of Gibraltar Strait, a fleeing Spanish ship struck a reef on the southern end. He very clearly is not sleeping, right? The whole ship shattered in seconds, sending countless sailors to the ocean's depth. The survivors brought the valuables on board too. Are you sure you're not the drunk one? I might be. I might be. The drunk man's voice trails off into a mumble. Come on, get to the juicy part. Pipe down and let me listen. They ran to a white house. White House? He probably means Casablanca. But could a ship crashing at the strait make it that far? It's not far from Lisbon, and the voyage southward would take just a few days at full speed. Why don't we go see for ourselves? Rumors of treasure. We're getting all kinds of, of uh, side quests and things. I like it. I feel like since getting to this port, we raise three glasses, and then I watch you double fist beers while trying to impress the waitress. This is the kind of content you can expect when you're on this channel. Consider following today. Have you heard that the naval guard took a huge hit while eliminating the pirates and suffered many casualties? I can't. Uh... I do too, Panda. How's it going? How are you? What's new? What's exciting? How's your day? They were abandoned. Abandoned? Abandoned? There's a new one. I beg to differ. They were ambushed by pirates around Azores, and only a supply ship escaped. Good off work and sitting down to watch one of my favorite Canadian streamers. Oh, cool. Who is it? Have I met them before? Have I seen them? Let me know. That's terrible. That's from uh, Witch of Mercury. The one that just wrapped up its first core. I too suffered a pirate ambush during one of my voyages. My, my alerts and various other things are sprinkled with Gundam and anime and pop culture and all sorts of weird, wonderful things. You've met every other Canadian, right? Of course, including Buddy down the road. Still gonna watch the last episode. I hear it's fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the only thing I'll say about the final episode is that it definitely establishes that this show is Gundam. That's all I gotta say. It, it was a what the hell moment, but it definitely a Gundam series. Pretty sure that's the rule. It absolutely is the rule. But there's only allowed to be two Canadians at any given time. More than two when you, we start having problems. I too suffered a, a pirate ambush during one of my voyages. 
They pretended to be common fishing boats that were docked on both sides while waiting for merchant ships to enter their range. Luckily, my captain at the time deployed our defenses in advance, and it was the only reason we could return to port safely. I guess they were afraid that the patrolling navy ships would come to their target's aid, though they were forced to flee upon failing an attack. Blanket maneuvers are employed in ancient warfare, too. They split their army into two, sending the first half up to keep the enemy bu army busy, while the other attack ha the other half attack from the behind. Oh my god. I'm getting dialogue-y. It works the same way in naval warfare. When a ship is attacked from both sides, a moment of hesitation from the captain would doom the ship. You don't want to get it from both sides. Or maybe you do. We don't we don't kink shame here. Hmm. We can put the strategy to use too. I don't think I've watched any Gundams except a few movies, parts of Wings, and then G Gundam. G Gundam is not representative. That's true. Uh, Iron Blooded Orphans is really good, actually. I rewatched all of Universal Century recently. Like I just binged through the whole thing. And other than uh, the last series that I watched, which doesn't really in Universal Century, it was enjoyable. I think the next series coming out is the TV version of Hathaway, which is supposed to run for a few episodes until we get to the second core of uh, Witch of Mercury. HMS is absolutely fantastic. I was trying to think of the right adjective. <laughs> we can even hear each other on the same ship during a naval battle. So how will our support ship work with us? We need a captain. Aren't you the captain, Andrew? I mean a captain for the support ship. A captain who can convey the strategy to the crew and implement it with the flagship. I refuse. It sounds like a lot of work. We found we we found the female version of Fireball. I'll leave it to you then, William. Oh, I knew it. Let's set the pirates in the Azores in our target and use their strategy to win the battle. It's called an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Sadly, I walked away to learn how or why. It's fine. It, it's, it's fine. I wouldn't be sailing to Porto for now, but I don't mind giving these prices to you. Yay. Instead of flatly giving gifts to your sweetheart, perhaps try to figure out what she really likes. I mean, that's pretty sound advice. We're gonna, we're going to screenshot that. We will use that for a meme. If it will let me, holy crap. We are talking about Canada, so I realized I was cold and had to put a coat on. I mean, fair. I think I got it that time. All right. Enough goofing off. To the shipyard. Capitão, você está no lugar certo. How is this? Certainly the Canadian, not the frozen fruit I just ate. Well, yes. Has to be. Blame Canada. Oh shit, I got autoplay on. I don't recognize those coins of yours. It's illegal to make your own coins, so did you? Young girl in blue. <laughs> of course not. What was that laugh? I have other business to attend to. So let's continue this conversation next time. Ha ha ha. Oh, you installed the DLC thing. Yes, I did install the DLC thing. I almost got in trouble. But how will I go to sea if I can't get a ship? If only someone here would lose a ticket to me in a bet. Two. Okay. Yeah, the free DLC. I grabbed it. No, that won't do. Those ships are have a fixed route. Wouldn't I be sailing further away from my sister if they aren't going in the right direction? Yes. The dialogue takes a long time to proc on the screen. Is something troubling you? Yes. I didn't expect that buying a ship would be this difficult. And I was even hoping to set sail as soon as possible. Even if you do... You buy one, you must hire a crew and plan the road. It has to be done step by step. You can't rush it. I can't say I know who the Billy Billy mascots are. I have no idea either. I I was not prepared for Billy Billy to be publishing a game. I'm sure they do, but I thought they were all mobile stuff. So this is my first encounter with them as a PC publisher. 
All right, all right. Of course I'm aware of that. But, huh? You seem to know so much. You must set sail frequently, right? A new prey already exists exist already. Oh, right. I graduated from the Maritime Academy. My second home lies beneath the sails. I just recently assembled a fleet. But I didn't realize they published it. Okay. Wait a minute. Are you a captain? Do I look like... Don't I look like one? No, dude. You look too fucking happy. <laughs> he just looks too damn happy. And that looks like I was trying to pass a gallstone. I didn't... <laughs> I just didn't expect a captain to be so young. They were always bearded old men in the movies. Movies? Fuck's a movie? Apparently they're kind of anime gaming focused in general. Okay, nice. I'm going to have to do some research then. I'm 22. Nice to meet you, Captain. Alright. You can call me Andrew. Where are you headed? Maybe I can give you a ride. In my fleet. If we're going the same way. Uh, actually I don't know where I'm headed. Huh? Huh? Then what are you even buying a ship for? It's because I got separated from my sister and I'm worried she'll get in trouble in such an unfamiliar place. Although no one can bully her. My fleet will be sailing around. Perhaps you'll be able to obtain more some information along the way. You can call me Andrew because that's my name. Exactly. Exactly. Captain Andrew, can I go to sea with you? You can go somewhere with me. You can, but sailing the ocean is harsh. Rainstorms aren't our only problem. There's the threat of pirates. It's fine. I'm not completely inexperienced. That's what they all say. Haha, <laughs> then prepare to set sail with us. It's gonna get weird. Uh, repair my ship. Ooh, 610? Nice. Alright. That's done. Go to the trade center. We gotta sell that sugar. That's the porcelain. I wanna sell the sugar. Oh, I did make profit. Okay, nice. 716, though, in profit. Billy Billy. Yep. Of course it's got to have some kind of branding, branded quest. That makes sense. I'll give them, I'll give them that. They're, they they know what they're doing when it comes to promotional stuff. Right, what, what, I want to take a look at the items. Camping tool. 4,000. Logging axe. Pick axe. Lantern, expedition specific lighting tools, hole repairs for emergency hole repairs, Portugal nautical chart, map showing the offshore routes of Portugal. 10,000! Holy balls! Thank you, Muffin, for the clip. Special medicine. Okay. What do we got? We got our holy compass. Well, thank you, Angel. Cart costs as much as a ship. Still worth it? Yeah, it will be. All right. Well, that satisfied that curiosity. To the library. Por favor, leia All who seek knowledge are welcome here. Yep, Chief Librarian. Haha, treasures in books? Someone did say that. But the books in this collection are hundreds of years old. Language barriers aside, there are also factors such as a different dialect, vocabulary. Most scholars aren't able to translate that. Adventurers are meant to do what ordinary people don't. The pursuit of knowledge is also kind of an, a kind of adventure. Ha! <laughs> I don't know why everybody laughs like an old-timey villain. Ha 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 ha! Your ideal of seeking knowledge is a delight. The library has not had readers like you in a long time. Great minds or something like that. Yeah, exactly. Something. The collective hive brain. I have a copy of The Messenger of Two Shores in the library. Many parts are still a mystery, so if you're interested, you can try unraveling its mysteries. Everyone is old-timey. This is the old times. That is true. 
I don't feel so bad then. Or weird. Read books. As for everyone being villainous, that's pretty close to true now. I mean, you're not wrong. The translation of different books requires different languages. Only sailors who have mastered the language may read and translate books fluently. Books that have been translated contain that key text that need to be deciphered, of which requires a sailor that meets the deciphering conditions to be assigned to help decipher them. After fully deciphering all the text, you can obtain discovery clues hidden within the books. Holy crap. They turned it into a mini game? The Irish Sea to the West, Brown Sculptor Helios. All the keywords, okay. Oh. I have nobody who can do that. He can do that. Okay. Oh, I can't, I can't complete it. So I can't, ah, I stand under. Nobody with those. Okay. So basically, you need to have more crew to be able to do all the things. This is later game stuff. Got it. Oh, interpret messengers on both sides of the river. Okay, so I can I can probably do the one book. I see. Oh, here we go. Humanities, geography, okay. Here we go. Lisbon outfall, torture rack, mountains of northern Lisbon. New clue obtained, double serpent staff clue. Messenger, you thief. I won't let a scheming thief like you escape. The merchant grabbed the boy's shirt and asked the guards in, in the north part of the city for assistance. The soldiers walked leisurely in front of them like he was watching a show. Without saying a word, he motioned for the merchant to let go. The boy was still holding the long cloth bag tightly in his arms. The soldier grew weary and one wondered if there was a weapon inside it. I'm not reading all of this. All right, so Targus, bloodstained book frame, mountains, done. Hey, bargain. Appreciate you, boo. Hope you're well. Did you, your group really decipher it? Oh, knock off. It seems I've underestimated you young people. Dude, you look like you're like 20. The double serpent staff should be referring to Hermes C Caduceus. Whoa, words. That can't be. Greek gods really, Greek gods really exist in this world? Question mark. True or not, we can only confirm it after we found that the Sinatra, the Sintra, the Sinatra. Yes, the Singing Mountains, N not far from Lisbon. They'll, they'll sing you to sleep. The Sintra Mountains are not far from Lisbon. It won't only take long to get there from the travel post. Bubba -ba dup. All right. We're just doing all the things today. Cool. What's for cool. days? All right, report discovery. You can report discoveries you come across local officials to obtain rewards and increase local contribution. Discoveries can be recorded, not be reported again. Yes. Done. I mean, that just gave me 10,000 coin. I should go buy that chart, huh? Ahoy there, Captain! <laughs> Is what you said true? Of course it's true. I have their flag right here. Please, wait a moment. The official claps his hands and two guards come forward with a reward. Here's your reward, Captain. For prison! Thank you! You have done us a service in getting rid of the pirates. We thank you. If you would like to continue to do so, you can take a take on other pirate bounties. See, at the start of every month, there is a chance for the local government to issue a pirate fleet crusade bounties. If you choose to accept, blah, 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 blah. Depends on how crazy it is. The walking bounty? 
Vanity of the Baltic. Go after the fugitives. Range of activity, Baltic Sea. These pirates have brought plague and caused the economy to crash. They must pay the price. 60,000 coin! Really? Oh, okay. The 20,000. Okay, that's that's probably more manageable. A bunch of cruel fishermen. That's the one that we're that they were talking about at the thing. We'll try it. I have no idea how good these are. I've only ever did a couple of those. Yeah. You are most likely not high enough level for the 60,000. I was thinking that. I said I, I kind of assumed that I wasn't, but, you know, I mean, YOLO? Not really. All right. Because our name's not Wrecked Wizard, we're going to save. You had to be there to get that joke. What's the post? Oh, from the travel po Land exploration. You have to unlock what for the robot land exploration. Oh, do I need a permit? Whoa, My 20k whoa, whoa. is fine, but if I if to sail to the middle of the unexplored Mediterranean, I'll just trade for several minutes instead. Yeah. Land exploration. I have the thing. Okay. If I use the points, does that deduct from my uh? thing okay thank you it, it's just the point level all right that makes more sense right, now we can do let's now they're mailing waves to the crowd in a gesture of friendliness Haha, you all seem like travelers who are passionate about the mountains and rivers. I wanted to end my travels and find a place to retire, but it's such a shame to leave these expedition tools to rust after all the years I've had them. Why don't I give them to you guys? I've got cross picks, Jacob's mountaineering cane, a lantern. There is a saying in the East that goes, the people before us planted trees, and the people who come later enjoy the shade. The earlier adventures marked places where people could rest comfortably. A simple campsite can be set up in those places with camping tools. Whether you decide to make a temporary repair to the campsite or the whole group to return to port, there's a responsibility that lies with the leader of the expedition. They, they've got some depth to these systems. There are many more different types of expedition tools. I'll leave you guys to discover them all. Oh, I almost forgot. Have this lucky gold coin too. It always helps me whenever I'm in a pinch. I hope it brings you luck too. Miles then walks away, leaving his bag behind. Okay, so lantern, climbing. Fishing rod. Pickaxe. Jacob's cane. Logging axe. Camping tool. Lucky coin. He just gave us everything. Designate up to four members to form an expedition, which provides a certain amount of load based on the members' stats. Posts. Of ports provide pack animal rentals, pack animals, blah 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 blah. Take up a member slot, provide a significant amount of load. All right. It can be provide you with additional aid. The extra jet and carry will increase your load. The supply will be consumed as you move. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Certain special events require specific items to use them. All right. Well, we want to do the thing. How much is the horse? It's not bad. Well, we've only got... Oh, well, we've got us and the horse. All right. That way we've got some room for stuff. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what to expect. 
rare resources and ruins can be found that require supply consumption, blah, 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 blah. When your spy is depleted, your expert will start losing stamina due to your hunger. After you completed, the expedition will end in failure and must be restarted at the post. Hidden among exploration sites, blah, blah, blah. Camp. When I, you can quickly return to the post. All right. Oh, I guess I should have taken more supplies. Do we want to scavenge? Dude. Serve. All right. Looks like it's empty for a long time. Search it. Sausage. England tweed and pewterware. We randomly found a sausage. So, oh, security alert! Someone asked why it looks like there is a lot less luggage now. You stop and try to figure out why. Check the luggage. So this is all the supplies we have left. We have to cut down on our consumption for now, because we run out of supplies before we get back. We'll lose. Really? Wow. Wow, man. Only fish and water. Well, guess we go back. I mean, we got some stuff. We got some XP. Why don't we put the stuff in our ship first and not the warehouse? That's weird. Alright. All kinds of new stuff. That's not what I'm worried about. Archives, everybody goods, English tweed. I wonder if we can sell the English tweed for a good price. Books, we got the one. Blah, 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 blah. To the syndrome, but the stick could not be found. Right, that's the, the thing. Adira to the those. Alright, so Chronicle. Music room layout. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. So, accomplishing these things will give us blueprints for building things. Okay. Okay. They have 50 days in a row. Holy crap. That's going to take a minute. Gun room. Okay. Western Europe. Discover all ports. Yeah. A new badge, blueprint, trade 20, 200 specialty goods in total. All right. Officer's room, own five ships. Sell 100 food goods. So it gives you different goals for different things. All right. Of course. Let's take all our crap and we need to load up significantly more on supplies than I thought we did. There. This better be worth it. How's the game? The game's good. Welcome in, A-Boy. Eh, I'm still early into it, so I'm exploring some of the systems. We did the basic tutorial sail around until you figure out where the hell you're going thing. But on the whole, I'm liking what I've seen so far. Just checking out this exploration mechanic, land exploration, which is interesting. Two mass robbers in the distance are dragging a merchant from his carriage, seemingly unaware of you. The merchant. That's the coin. I'll take it. Oops. 
out now. Sports Sun, thanks to the guidance of the Celestials, you've gained more knowledge about the local area. Nice. Ooh, that that must be the thing we're looking for. Grass on the cliff? Oh. Yes, grappling hook. Chinese peony. Nice. There we go. Snake shadow in the mountains. After climbing over a hillside and reaching the front flattest part of the mountain, a small clear stream is immediately discovered. Where is the help merchant unload his goods while he's still unaware, right? I guess it was just stop bad guys. Merchant pays money. Leave. Discovery. Staff of Hermes. The Staff of Hermes is a god of Kermis. Kermis? Kermis. Really? Commerce? The two gold serpents wound around it are said to bring wealth to the holder of the staff. 10,000 XP. Let's go. How much food do we got? Ooh. We're going to start boogieing home. Yeah. I'm good with that. We did what we came to do. We got the staff of Hermes. We got some other stuff. I'm good with that. We got some XP. That's what matters. All right. We'll turn in our discovery. We want we want to be popular with our home port. So. Ten gold, fifty. Let's. All right. So. Guild establishment. Acquiring this port's qualification to establish a guild allows for the investment into unique buildings, constructions, and merchant operations within the port. Yes. All right. Next order of business. We're going to the store. And we're going to buy that chart. I almost want to buy both just to make my life easier, but I'll wait and do some quests. The requirement to make the guild is really hard. I'm, I'm not surprised. I'm just kind of unlocking it. Go to the trade center in Nance along the port of Lisbon. All right, so that's where we're going. That's what we'll do. What's our ship looking like? Right. Well, we don't actually. Let's see if I can sell that crap. The mid-game-ish, I start making every town into a guild town. Yeah, that makes sense. But we're just getting started. Or any guild that hits the rank. Makes sense. Um, let's sell it. Let's check the stuff that we just, uh, that hit. Oh, okay. What do we got? Ooh. Okay, the sausage won't sell, but the English tweed will. Thank you. Made some of our money back just from that. I, I can see the land post exploration being worthwhile. And it's a nice diversion, too, from the usual nonsense. Alright. Wait. Um. To the bag! Two sailors provide additional bonuses. Some sailors can equip up to four pieces of equipment. Uh, isn't compass or does that not count yeah this is just all that stuff all right, so this perfect that gets me all the way to Bordeaux Nance is further up best trade route has to be sausage rolls from London to the new world I mean could be wish I could take horses on the land 
on other land exploration, horses would be lovely. I'm assuming that's like a... There must be one captain or a sailor who has that particular skill. Knowledge obtained. Right, I remember where it is. Okay. I, I, I'm trying to go through the map from Uncharted Waters in my head. With the horse, it feels like you have eight turns to find something. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. If we're sailing through the Mediterranean Sea, why don't we make Genoa our destination? Joyce is right. Genoa is the center of trade in the western region with countless travelers and scholars and scholars gather. Hmm. The navigator who said to discover the new world is from Genoa. That's right, Andrew. Genoa is the northeast of Cuda. Let's set sail once the preparatory work is done. We're going to do side quests in the western region. Yeah. Song of the Cape, part two. Great navigators. The waves at sea are huge! Not the only thing that's huge. Hmm. It hasn't been long since we got separated, so perhaps I'll be able to find some information at a nearby port. Andrew, I don't think my sister could have gone too far. If it's possible, I hope you can dock at the nearby ports. I'd like to try to get some information from them. I think she's still in one of the nearby ports. Weird 33 go. I feel like you want to sail along and like do the things. Make discoveries. Yeah, I kept exhausting supply and stamina. Yeah, that that seems like a valid concern. You probably balance that out by hitting certain spots where you can gather supplies and like fishing and stuff. But, you know. I, I'll probably experiment with that maybe more off stream than on. Although, who knows? I might change my mind. I won't be sailing to Madeira for now, so I don't mind giving these prices to you. Sausage is trending down. Sausage is. This is a good place to sell sausage. I'm right. Maps aren't random, so you kind of get. can just brute force it. Over a handful of attempts. Okay. Yep, let's treat the sailors. And level up. There. Happy almost almost level twenty. I probably shouldn't have dumped all my points points into Andrew, but I'm doing it anyway. Right. We're doing a quest, so let's proceed with the quest. Honestly, what I mostly do is just ignore Land Expedition 2. You should dump all your points into Andrew. That's what I'm doing. For now, at least. Let's see. I'm full. That horn always makes me think some kind of thing is going to happen. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Until 30 and then not until anyone else is 30. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, he should be 31 and everyone is 30 for reasons. Noted. We're getting... Thank you. Let's try not to crash into the coast. Dude, this is why I've got Explorer open. It might be slow, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. Now we have a weapon. Oh, somehow not, not rusty ground sword. I've always had a little luck, or something. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, 
move a little faster. Ooh, why did we suddenly stop? That was random. Suddenly completely slow down. Bordeaux. Obtained new knowledge. I believe three irrefutable evidence, three irrefutable evidence are necessary to reach a judgment. One way to to to, to talk. We're we're going to completely ignore, ignore pluralization apparently. First, a specific fact that is commonly recognized. Next, the testimonies of many witnesses. Finally, the voluntary confession from the accused. But we cannot make every criminal confess to their crimes. As well, witnesses may give false accounts for various reasons. That would nullify such from being irrefutable evidence, relegating them to presumptions or hearsays. But where proofs are lacking, proofs? Where proofs are lacking, I think presumptions are enough for verdict and conviction. You two great scholars have been dating, debating for a long time in this bar and yet to reach a conclusion? As long as they're paying for their drinks, who cares? No, Barkeep, the conclusion is not as important as the discussion itself. My friend and I are not debating either. Our views are consistent with each other on the issue. The young scholar wasn't lacking in proofs. His last drink was at least 30, right? That explains his, his grammatical inferences. Indeed, as for witches and those practicing witchcraft, we must adopt the most severe punishments. No doubt about that. The system of witch trials. Good weaver bro. How did we get involved in witches? Damn it. Port wine is trending upwards. Porcelain is okay. Weapons trending up. Alright, I'm gonna have to take time to just look through these and really get it. Fight once broke out in the suburbs of Naples. The alum miners went on strike. Which eventually caused the mine to close. Okay. So there's nobody here. Great. We have equipment. Ooh. Calculating? Attack 15. I mean... We'll equip... Do, do I need calculating, though? That seems like a, something more for a merchant. I'll use it on him for now. Leadership, geography, steering, yes. Can I put that on him, too? All right, we're going to pack heat. I, no, I'm actually going to give that to Joyce. Give her the rapier. Yes. Along the co north coast of Lisbon, yes. All right. Hey, Onwards and upwards, my friends. Onwards and upwards. Why is my supplies not supplying? Oops. Oh. I pressed the wrong button twice in a row. Because of course I did. Onwards to adventure! Since we've got... We're, we're good for... Food for a minute. Nance should be up here, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Could be that one. I believe. <laughs> I wonder if Stonehead... Stonehenge is in the same place. What do you need? And in two blue flower porcelain shards. Here you go. Very ni nice. Very nice. These blue have excellent color. I'll give you a good price. Bang on. So.
go south of towards the port of Porto and port one. So we're gonna go to Porto now. Okay. Okay. Well, let's pop into the tavern. Good reason, well. Valuables dealer. Okay. Not worried about that right now. Item store. Must explore every port. That's how that works, right? All right. It's just the usual shenanigans. Okay. Fair enough. Probably as we explore and build up towns, it will unlock new stuff. Let us sail away! Wait! Oh, crap. I should have auto-sailed. I'm going to do that, because I want to see if it'll work. Sure. Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with Ange. Exactly. I'll have to use some variation of one of those songs the next time we stream the game, which will probably be day after tomorrow, because tomorrow I have to do the, Far the Farlanders, because we have a pretty good uh, relationship with uh, Cryptivo. Prosperous city. Eh. Oh, I see. Markets are thriving here, making trades more lucrative. Goods. Cheese, wine, salt, wine. That's when you run goods between the closest city and until it no longer has money. Yeah, but I gotta sell stuff that would that would be worthwhile to sell, right? Plus, I have to finish those contracts. I've got X amount of time to do the contracts. I want to get the, the those side quests done first. But, but I guess... All right, what would you recommend then? I'll, 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 I'll listen for once. What should we be buying? Uh, I got this one, which I have to go buy wine and take it back to Lisbon. Uh, treasure hunt is not timed. Appoint William as support captain. Okay, that's something different. Been heard you say that laugh. That's good. Missing. Ah, here it is. The exiled fleet. I've got 116 days. No, the rest aren't timed. So I should be good then. Uh, it doesn't say. Let me let me mark it and see what happens. It's over there. Oh, that's that's near uh, on the way to Genoa. Near Sardinia, maybe. So I should have lots of time then. Genoa. Okay. So I should have lots of time. I've got 116 days. I should have plenty of time to bang out some trade, and then do the things. Wheat, sausage, wine, cheese, salt, wine. But I got that. If you limit cargo space, heading that way wouldn't be bad, though. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. Oh, well, I'll always get more quests. That's true. Uh, they both have wine. Otherwise, they have different stuff. Cheese and salt here, wheat and sausage there. Obviously. So then the salt and the cheese. Bring sausages back from Bordeaux and take salt or cheese. Oh, don't buy anything. For oh, I see what you mean. Okay. Okay, I got you now. I stand under... Unless it's somewhat cheap. Well, well, go look. 
Jetez un coup d'œil à mes nouvelles marchandises. Let's see, it's trending upwards, it's trending upwards. 744, 849. Wheat and sausage? Are we going for French sausage rolls? Yes, we are. Oh, yeah, those aren't cheap at all. 118 up, 135. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no. All right. We're going to... Since we're not going far... We'll do that. We'll do this. Buy it from certain item shops for... Okay. Wait, what? Ah, okay. Uh, 50-50. Lisbon seems to have it. That's later game stuff. I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, I can't... There's no direct routes to pass through it. What? I'm going to have to manually sail. Well, that's not a big deal. I'd go with a very small amount of goods. Oh, really? So, just like... Two slots at a time, then? Wee! Oh, turn! Or am I mixing up goods and supplies? Yeah, but I mean just to run this stuff back and forth. Oh, okay, okay, I see what you mean. Never mind. I got goods and supplies mixed up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I'll go with two. Just to be on the safe side. All right. I'm here to buy your stuff, bro. Let's see. Sausage is cheap. Buy all the sausage. Ding. Let's get the hell out of here. Eight is how many? However many it is. I just bought it, man. Oh. Okay. Well, I bought it for like 4,000. So we'll see how it sells. But yeah, this will... I have to unload it from my okay, ship, don't I? In order to sell it? No? Oh, well, I did anyway. I'll know for next time. Oh, I see. It's got the two separated. 120%. Bang on. There is a select all button. Oops. Thank you. Almost 3k profit. I'll take it. Boom, 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 boom. We're going to make some money. I gotta remember to, to get directional and then not play with the direction thing. Bienvenue. Jetez un coup d'œil à mes nouvelles marchandises.
Yeah, I see what you mean by the select all button. Uh, or the select type. That makes sense. I mean, we'll make some easy money this way. I can't really complain about that. The problem is, I make William a support captain. Won't that screw him up as the uh, lookout? Or will I magically suddenly get another character? Or can he do both? Come on. Get stuck. Back as lookout after. Okay. Bienvenue. Jetez un coup d'œil à mes nouvelles marchandises. Profit. Well, then let's do that right now. But we. Maybe. Why am I? Oh, okay. That explains. Well, I'm not doing that yet, so I won't worry about it. We're not. We're not there yet. Which I probably, though, I probably need to do for that other quest. Yeah. Well, I mean... There's no shipyard here, is there? No. We will go do that after this. We'll, we'll pick up the stuff at Porto, and then we'll go to Lisbon and buy ships. After we buy the rest of the wheat. Yeah, okay, just just crash into the into the shore. It's all that beer I drank in that tavern, I swear. So identical is right trigger. Yeah, I'm just going to clear it by the, the... Yeah, I'll, I'll come back for the wine after I do that quest. Eh. I'm doing it because I'm doing it. Well, I could... Hmm. I'll do the quest first thing. If I get too distracted by other things, I'll forget the other stuff. There might be. That's a good point. I can't remember if I saw one or not. But I'll head there next. I mean, even if I get make something of a profit, it'll still be worthwhile. I mean, 116. Still making money. I mean, 890 profit. Yes. That's understandable. All right. Let's convert our ship back over to better gear. Or better cargo allotment. Because we got to sail further. Fill with supplies. Can I... It won't let me... It won't let... Well, we're going to... We're going to... Whatchamacallit place anyway. No, there wasn't there wasn't a shipyard in Bordeaux. I didn't take notice of one. I'll double check it though. I would have remembered. Man. That's fine. This is fine. It's fine. It's perfectly fine. No, there is no shipyard here. 
prêt à partir naviguer We'll just go back to Lisbon. I'm gonna do that quest first. Well, I'm not auto sailing, so me. I'm gonna do this little quest first. I will auto sail back, buy wine, and then we'll go to, or not. We should anchor the ship immediately. I think I just gotta stop, right? Yes. Okay. Yay, we didn't. How did I activate? Come on. What are you doing? I promise I'm not intoxicated. It may seem like it, but I'm not. Why is there a treasure chest there? Did I miss something? Is that where I found a treasure? I don't know. The Porto. Oh, it shows where you've already got it. Okay. Sailor morale, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I know. There's a shipyard here, though. All right. I'll be right back. Huh. Will maps exist on the internet? English, they do not. Of course. Well, give it time. I'm sure they will eventually. Wait. Quest. There we go. Be really well informed, Captain. I just received a... A shipment of port wine. I'll send it to the dock for you right now. Two. Really? Just two? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're, we're worrying about the quest. Alright, sausage, wine. Wine is pretty much cheap everywhere, but... Or do I want to sail back to the other place and get that wine? Questions. Um, shipyard. Capitão, você está no lugar certo. What have you got? Caravel. Loop. 30k though. Do I really want to invest in that now? Actually, what? What does? What the hell does my ship look like? Loops. To a full fleet. Upgrade them out. All right. Bye, Sloop. Thanks, Angel, for the clip. They sell for half its price. Yeah, I can't modify it yet. That's fine. And you want to modify them to have more holds? Yeah, of course. Which ship, ship order. I don't want the, the dock. Um, this one. Fleet management. What? Yes, a point. That's what we were looking for. That updates the quest. And to the thing. And you can't actually put people in any position, but Captain, I just make every room on my ship secondary holds until, yeah, that makes sense. All right. 
Now, should I go back for the wine, or should I buy port wine here before we go towards Genoa? Let's trust our gut, have a little bit of stuff. We'll go back and buy that wine. No, we're gonna go to Lisbon first. Get rid of the port wine. Oh, it's not, oh I gotta I gotta get sailors. Blah 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 blah. Make you take port wine to Lisbon, right? It's foolishness, but whatever. Required number of sailors. So we recruit. Yeah, we gotta we gotta go recruit them and then do the thing. Actually, no, we don't. Guy with a pretty janky trade contract, yeah. That could be. We need to go recruit some sa some some sailors. Thank you for the contribution, muffin. go thank you angel for the contribution who wants to say with just two units of goods right not really worth their time so lose one or two it doesn't kill the ship performance yeah that would make sense no reason to carry more than that though with the goods yeah it doesn't affect your combat ability then i assume keep 40 on the main ship and 40 spares on that one. That will balance out. Yeah. Build them full before combat. Ah, okay. Eh, well. We're heading to combat, so. go it's fine this will be fine onwards to combat i like how quick that is too I recall the old captain saying that he took the order from the trade guilds. Let's head straight there to look for him. Okay. Haha, uh -huh, you're back, little captain. Let me see. Yes, good. The port wine is the right quantity. If you're interested, you can try getting contracts yourself. There, we finished the tutorial quest. We got contracts. Do I have to submit one? No. What are these contracts? I want to look at what these are. 20 firearms? Okay. Rosemary, black pepper, wood. And white sugar. That one would be sim pretty simple. 6,000. That's not bad. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What do you have to say? Rusty. Yeah, okay. You could, like, technically do firearms. The biggest problem is finding actual places to stock you that many in enough time. Yeah, that's probably why it's a higher price quest. 
is for that very reason. Bem-vindos, por favor, vejam as nossas novas mercadorias. All right. Do we really want to sail all the way back there for that wine? I guess we should. Thanks, Genoa. No? All right, good. I didn't want to go anyway. Or should I just buy port wine here? That would almost make more sense. Or just say fuck it and go, go for the quests. For now. We can do a lot more of our trading focus later. Probably isn't even a depression anymore. That's true. All right, then we sail. Onwards to glory. We don't have a lookout anymore. Where do I, where do I recruit new people? Or do I just find them along the way? Those show things are on the route. Yeah, but well, then I guess I should have looked. Oh well, whatever. Ooh. Randomized at all? Well, we're gonna find out. Lies, ridiculous lies. He said the earth under our feet is constantly moving. Well, then we would have been sent flying a long time ago. How come we are still standing here, our feet firmly planted? <laughs> the scholar is enraged. Captain Bernard is supposedly a famous doctor in Nance. He invented a pendulum device that he claimed could prove his theory. The first non-char-related char I found was unlocking, unlocked by buying an item at a store. That looked unique. Interesting. All right. I know. He held expeditions in several ports already, and only the nobles fell for them. Even more ludicrous, he got invited by the South Home Expo, showing off some useless junk that could only draw straight lines. Yeah, non-Andrew related one. That makes sense. Bernard also made an excuse at the place at the middle line of the earth and wanted to call it the equator? The governor should arrest him for heresy. Parades while waving a glass in hand, then wobbles into a seat and becomes silent. Phew. He fell asleep. What a drunk. Oh, we found 33. A girl with a calm expression watches the crowd come and go. 33! It's possible every... Char Andrew can get is tied to him. I really don't know until I play other characters. Yeah, that's that's entirely possible too. I'm sure somebody will have found out. We're just getting started, so. I'm not sure which character I'm going to play next. But depends on how this playthrough goes. Didn't we say that we would meet in Lisbon? We agreed to meet in Seville. <laughs> is that so? Pretty much the same. I mean, one's Portugal, one's Spain. Not much that not that much different, maybe, I guess. Not really. You got yourself lost again. It doesn't matter. I'm back now, aren't I? It's all thanks to Captain Andrew for escorting me here. I see you met someone nice this time. I always worried you'd get cheated without you even knowing what hit you. Well, maybe I'll do the combat focus try next. There you go. I'm probably going to do the uh, shipbuilder. But we may not be able to head back for a while. Huh? Why? I've been inspecting and repairing the machine while waiting for you to return. I discovered that the core of the machine, the Billy Billy Pearl, was lost when we entered this point of, in time and space. So what? It isn't the first time that has happened. Don't we just have to use the locator to find it? You had the little TV, so I wasn't able to scan for its location immediately. And... The Billy Billy Pearl may have fallen into this world too, but it arrived more than a hundred years before us. A hundred years? Even if it's still intact, I can only imagine where it is right now. We will have to search the entire world. Hey, <laughs> Captain. Of course, our plan was always to explore the world, so let's look for the... Billy Billy Pearl together. Thank you, Captain. I'm just going now. All right, Fireball. Thanks for hanging out and the advice. Have a good night, day, whatever. 
I'm low on power right now, so I may be unable to help for some time. I'm the only assistant, so it's my duty to take care of you. We found the missing sister. Let's talk to Monica. Bottoms up. Drinking too much is bad for health. And your self-image, too. I truly look forward to speaking to you. Some news? I'd love to travel and feast my eyes on the beauty of the world. Staff of Hermes. Perhaps I lack knowledge to understand the meaning hidden within. I truly look forward to speaking to you. I gotta drink again? Alright, we're gonna get smashed. Don't you think so? Are you embarrassed? Why are you being so quiet? Cause I'm drunk. It's said that the wreckage of the New Dawn expedition lies in the waters between Lisbon and the Azores? Are you embarrassed? Why are you so quiet? Let's get out of here. We've had enough to drink. Good lord. Sausages is, unique, sausage is a unique product of this port. Unfortunately, it's difficult to transport to Algiers. So we want to transport. You seem to be frequenting our establishment quite a bit recently. How about doing me a favor? What can I help you with? Ooh, are we getting a Monica quest? Clara Monica. Uh, uh This letter to Malaga. If you have the time, to a man by the name of Fernando. He usually hangs out at the tavern if he has nothing else to do. I, ca I can deliver your mail to Fernando. We get, to, we get some points. The Andrew up two levels, yes. Go. Start upgrading everybody else. Wait, level am I at? Thirty. Okay, perfect. What's this? Estás listo para salir a navegar? Well. You know, Captain Bernard, he travels to a lot of countries and is popular with local lift cats. So he's very, he's probably very rich. That, for sure. I heard he left four gifts in order to find like-minded like minded people. When the pendulum stops, four gifts of truth shall appear. Two on the island and shore of the burning sun. Two on Kukulin's left wing and the river of entanglement. What does that mean? People like him love riddles. To me, they're like talk others talking about them okay more side quests there's all kinds of side quests in this game let's go oh crap I don't have a lookout I need a lookout man Hopefully I can find somebody. Oh, that was simple. Found Malaga. Fernando? Ah, uh, was it Monica who asked you, you to hand me this letter? The man reads the letter in silence. She must be unable to forget that Costello fellow. Monica, what a cruel woman. Upon saying that, Fernando launched into a story about Monica and a handsome pirate captain. Okay. Remember kids, drinking water is important. Drink your super water daily. Thank you for the hydrate, Angel. Proper care and feeding of the streamer. Yay, we bought everybody a drink. All right. Not worried about those. We're going to go tackle that quest. Mm -hmm. 
Although I should be running around doing trade stuff, but... I want to tackle these pirates. Though a lookout would probably be a good idea. You garbage. Dog is being dog-like. Sizzle? Two three stands by herself at the bow and raises her hands high above her head. Suddenly, thunder cracks and a bolt of lightning hits 33. The hell? Whoa, 33! Re-crackle, recharge, complete! Refreshing data, space-time error, analyzing data, reading residual Billy Billy Pearl data, analyzing transmission, coordinates, sizzle. <laughs> Whew! Are you all right, 33? I'm fine, I've recharged. Hey, then? I found the Billy Billy Pearl's location. Yay! Or to be more precise, it's past location. Due to incomplete data, the data timestamps are in disorder, rendering it impossible to establish a timeline. It's better than nothing, so we just have to follow the clues and we can find the Billy Billy Pearl. The probability is of success is 23.3%. Never tell me the odds. That's quite high. Billy Billy Pearl has been in the Azores, Makassar, Samurai, San Juan, Havana, Malacca, Sakai, Latame, and Muscat. Muscat. Oh, God. Been everywhere. This is going to be a long, bloody quest. Now that I've recharged, I can start helping out, too. Awesome! Although the way 33 recharge seems quite dangerous. Right? Anchor, anchor, anchor! But does that mean I can assign them to things? Or no? No. I was really hoping it would let me. But I guess they can't join the crew yet? How are we for food? Day sail, port. Yeah, we need to find a, uh, a port. Perfect. Look at that. Valencia! Thank you, this is Nobody's here? That's fine. We're... M Satisfy my curiosity. If you donate and reach a certain level, you can obtain a blessing effect. Blessing effects will make sailing smoother. Okay. Governor's office. Banty quest, report discoveries. Okay. Trade center, commerce center. Okay. Estás listo para salir a navegar? Um. I'm not hauling cargo at the moment, so I'm going to increase my supplies a bit more. Just in case, with a battle, I want to have sufficient supplies to fight the battle. That just makes sense to me. And we check the ports along the way. Barcelona. Not long ago, I saw a trader bring back a batch of amber from Stockholm. I don't know. Didn't know they still sell that over there. We still have a ways to go. Dagger. Armor. Uh, 
Cloth hat? Calculating and selection. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's pricey. I will buy that stuff because my additional crew does need equipment. Just to be on the safe side, if there's stuff we can buy, that we can use. We are going into towards combat. It makes sense. I should be exploring the coastline, but it's fine. We need crew to be able to do that effectively. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Marseille. Welcome to France. Good evening, bro. Hello, Camille. Between Tanzania and Benghazi? All right. We got a drink again. Bottoms up, I guess. One more. My dude's gonna Ralph. All that wine. Oh, you can only do it once a month. Okay. Well. Ooh, gift shop. La marchandise est authentique et un prix raisonnable. Gifts for the ladies. Soap. Volume. Vile painting and an ivory comb. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Here we go again. I mean, at least we're, you know, discovering ports and filling out our charts and doing all the things. We're gonna go south, find these pirates. Sail around Sardinia. We're getting close to the treasure. Which treasure? Agliari. What do you want to drink? Treasure is she talking about? Oh, sea treasure hunt. Try to do this. Try to do this naval quest. See if we can blast us some pirates.
When our side of points support comes from support ships and bars enemy, there's a chance to lock on a target for a period and enter salvage preparation. By this time the fleet launches an attack on a target, it will trigger a linked attack, blah 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 blah. Okay. Where are these pirates at? There they are. These guys. Come on, come on. Here we go. Then go. There he is. Peace. Come on. It's taking way too long. Or I'm just not very good at the sailing part. <laughs> at the ship combat yet. Turn your big butt around. Jesus, we're sailing halfway to the moon. to Bounty's Port? Really? Oh boy. Oh, we gotta go to a major city first. We're getting close to the treasure. Oh, I'm sure we are. That battle took longer than it should have. I obviously need to get my uh, skills improved. Oof! Good lord. Alright, that's fine. It's gonna make me regular sail all the way there. It is too. Because I don't have the chart. Right.
Wait a minute. No. Oh boy, we lost a lot of sailors. It'll save us on supplies. That's what matters, right? Get right in and turn in these quests. Oh shit, what am I doing? Maybe not sail through a thunderstorm? be the smartest choice? Quest into her, and then we'll go to Lisbon. It would be nice if we could get a second person, but we'll deal with it. He talked about Costello? Eh, I don't know any Costello. One less thing to trouble you. Your bond with Monica has been deepened. So she's going to have quests to level her up in time. Nice. More quests are always a good thing. Alright. To Lisbon. Definitely need more of those maps. Qual é o problema? Oh, minute. There we go. Twenty thousand. That's not bad. But yeah, definitely. Like, I'm not ready for that one. How much do you need to start a guild? Five velvet and five wine and 50k. All right then. I can see why that's later game content. Fair enough. As mercadorias são genuínas, um preço justo. We're gonna buy the nautical chart for Spain. Give me that. Perfect. All right. That's where we're going to save. Cannot be deleted or, or overwritten. Oh, okay. And we're going to find ourselves somebody to raid. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. It's been a good game. I've got a good feeling about this. We're going to keep this one going for a while. We're going to add it into the mix with Legend, uh, Legend of Heroes Trails from Zero... Trials? Trails. Trails from Zero, along with some of the other things coming up over the next couple of weeks. Well, next week or so, we got some other things in the mix. Where are we going? Who are we going to raid? Oh, I know who we're going to raid. That's exactly where we're going to go. I'm just going to double check right quick. 
Thank you, Angel. Here's your raid calls. If you've been enjoying your time here with us, consider liking and subscribing and doing all the things. Liking and subscribing? Oh my god, I went into YouTube mode. Following us here on the Twitch. 